Hey everyone, today we get to play on Volskaya Foundry. Looks like our team gets first pick, first ban, and it's team league, so it doesn't matter where we are. We just got promoted to Silver 3, so let's try to keep our win streak continuing. If you want to look at our match history, we do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 wins in a row. Uh, that's after 4 losses in a row. Um, that was during the placement matches, so these were significantly more significant than these wins. Uh, looks like, let's go ahead and join. We're the only ones in it, but that's fine. Uh, looks like we're banning out Raynor. Um, enemy team is banning out Asmodan. Deckard's always a great pick. Um, looks like we're trying to... Interesting. These are all very interesting bands. That's okay. That's more of a standard one. Uh, stitches. I'm not sure if stitches is the pick here. Um, what do we want to play? Vala, Phoenix, Stitches, uh, Thrall. Is Thrall in the soul lane or not? Okay. Probius. Um. See so here, who can I go be in the soul lane that would actually be detrimental to the Probius? So it begins. Do your worst. It was either that or Artanis. I'm going with Yurel though. I won't be able to match the wave clear of Probius. However, he is a very low health pool. So if we can... I don't know. If we can get some pressure on him. Uh, we already have Deckard. Oh, banning out. Okay. Um... Gul'dan. Very good on them. Uh. So, problem with what we currently have. Let's see, they're going with Zul. Okay, they're going with a pretty... So, two front lines, one very far back line, another back line. Is right now, I'm the, I'm the only one that can, has to currently dive. Uh. Well. That's interesting. Victory above all. Sukov's not the greatest healer with Gul'dan. So we just gotta... Avoid the Probius Burst. And... Mm, a four... Four pick. Four man. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, well... Good luck to me in the solo lane. I'm not going to be able to win the soul lane unless Thrall or Phoenix comes in ganks. I just think because of the wave clear of um, the uh, Probius is just so high. Like, 
I probably won't actually have to worry about the damage too much unless it's from the turret. Let's see what talents he's going for. Hasn't picked it yet. Uh, Gul'dan E. Low blow, damage Muradin, and warp quest for the Probius. Zul's still yet to pick. Uh, Zul could actually be in the soul lane, and Probius could be in the four-man rotation, just getting the wave clear. Uh, good luck, have fun. More. Um, remember to rotate between the lane. Yeah. That's me. Now is the time. I don't like how I have to say that, but I do. Let's just come up here, try to stop them from rotating and getting this XP, which looks like they're just not doing, which is always very nice. Alright. Once again, we'll go right here. Stop them from rotating to get the XP. Once again, they did not. So, they lost two waves so far. So, let's move up again. Oh, there's Probius. Okay. Looks like he came the long way around. But we're almost a full level ahead already. There we go. Let's go with the armor. Uh, the reason why is because while we're on the point, we've redesigned our three glob protectors for combat in the Nexus. Prepare to begin field testing. So while we're on the point, we do want to be giving our allies as much armor as possible. go dodging out that damage so let's go ahead and rotate up here We can just sit here and heal up while we're still on the point. Okay, let's just back up. We'll just quickly tap here. Uh, let's try to get ourselves level 7. There we go. Uh, we are now going to go with Divine. Okay. 
Okay. We're obviously not going to win, or not going to be able to chase down that Gul'dan, but... Nicely done. Okay. We're just going to keep rotating down here, make sure we are getting all the XP that we can. Get top well. All right. So, once again, the reason why we do want to get the top well is because that's where the next um, protector is going to uh, appear. So, if we can get that. Alright, well, that sucks. Um, the Phoenix did do well, though. And got that um, XP in the top lane. Did not get the well, though, but not expecting him to. There we go. Getting three kills. Not bad. We're going to go Ardent Defender here. Okay. With our level 10, we should be able to get whatever we want. That includes this guy. There we go. There we go. Well done. Alright, let's go back down to our soul lane. And we don't miss a single minion of XP. And we are just going to come over here. There we go. All right, looks like we're five manning the bottom lane, which is obviously not needed. But let's just go ahead and mark this as danger. Well done by the friendly team. Uh, we're at level 13. So, we are going to go Aldor's Peacekeeper. Try to jump in on that Gul'dan. Use our DQ combo to reduce his damage. Alright. Our... Our stitches is a little far out. We were able to get a kill there. 
Let's just avoid some of that Proby's damage. Okay. I'm just going to stay on the point. Make sure we are still capping this. Right now, we do have one kill each. Alright. Okay. There we go. Alright, well, he's dead. Nicely done by our... Phoenix to follow up. Okay. Let's just go ahead and walk away. We are now going to go with Holy Wrath. Are we staying? Okay, never mind. I was going to say, death timers are still really low. Yep. Let's just go ahead and leave. Nothing wrong with leaving. Death timers are still incredibly low. We're only 12 minutes into the game. Um, actually, I'm going to come up here. I'm assuming that the enemy team is going to come and try to... Let's get this by Alcumander. There we are. This realm needs our help. Oh, why are we still fighting? Please just walk away. Alright. There we go. I was gonna say everyone's still fine, but they are not. I'm just trying to keep people alive. There we go. It will take our sledgehammer and push him in towards our towers. I didn't think I auto attacked there. Dang, my bad. Oh, what are you guys doing? Take the uh, turret. My faith drives me. All right. I already have the bionic emitter, so I can't actually take anything. 
All right. Nice pick by the Stitches. I'm assuming he's gonna try to do it again. We do have levels. We have a level advantage right now. Yeah, get the angle on him. Get the angle on him. You can come up here and grab the angle. Just run away. The light will we are still very, very healthy. The there we go. Let's just kind of keep damaging this. Okay, level 20, we are going to go with Become Unstoppable. Well, this is going to be GG. GG. Um, yeah, so... From the beginning, the enemy team lost out on two full waves. Um, that is just simply unacceptable. You can't lose out on two full waves. Uh, one wave is still not great. Two full waves is just absolutely terrible. Um, then uh, from then we got level seven uh, for the first objective. Uh, and then with the level seven, we were able to push in and take it. And then from there, we were able to have a XP lead from the entire time. And, yeah, that was just simply unacceptable by the enemy team to lose out on two waves. There was obviously a miscommunication. I think the pro we saw the top lane was the solo lane. And, because uh, I did see her, see them go to the top first. And since they went top lane, um, no one's bottom lane. They weren't rotating between lanes. So it was just simply unacceptable. Uh, stats for today, we had three kills, 12 assists, no deaths. Uh, Thrall also had no deaths, but the biggest difference is we had 121,000 in siege damage to probably 73. We did 37,000 in hero damage, so like third on our team, not great. We could have gotten a lot more. Uh, the Gul'dan had 49,000, so even on the enemy team, we weren't doing that great. We had 14,153 in self-healing, 41,854 in damage taken. But here's where we sh shone, shined, shined. This is where we shined, which is at 13,930 XP contribution to Proviso's top at 9,760. So we were able to get that experience advantage and kind of use that and push the pace a little bit. Decker didn't die, Thrall didn't die, I didn't die. Phoenix died four times, Stitches twice. Uh, the Gul'dan eight times because most of their damage was in Gul'dan, so we were focusing him. Uh, the Stitches did get a couple good hooks on him, but uh, the Gul'dan and Zul were their main damage dealers, so we were focusing them, so six and eight. Uh, the talents we went for today were Mirage Insight, um, Aegis of Light, Divine Steed, Ardent Defender, Aldor's Peacekeeper, Holy Wrath, and then uh, Seraphim. Uh, we never actually had to use this, but... Just make us unstoppable for two seconds. The Murden tries to come in on us. Azul with his roots. We could pop that walk away. Um, yeah. If you're really good, 
you can for the fear, but I'm not that good. Uh, it went really well, obviously. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though, and what we could have done a little bit better. Uh, last time I played URL, um, I was told like I need to make sure I auto attack in between area after using them. I'm working on it. Um, obviously, there I messed up a couple times where I didn't auto attack because that would give me a lot more DPS and a lot more self healing. I just would E and then DQ right away instead of E, auto attack, DQ, auto attack. So I'm working on it, but uh, I screwed up there a couple times. Alright, let me know what you guys think and have a great day.